Hey guys, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell to be updated every time I make a new video. Thanks, let's begin. This film would have served much better if it had to come out first. Shaolin Temple. This is the 1976 prequel to Five Shaolin Masters. Both were directed by Shi Shang, who also directed the boxer from Shantou. When it was released in America, they changed the title to Death Chamber. This was also the first film director Shi Shang did not work with a fight choreographer Lao Ker Leong. The plot to have a chance at a monastery decides to take in some pupils, who are attempting to flee the Manchu army. If they prove themselves and their might, they will be trained to fight. This is the origin story of the five men who escaped the Manchu when they invaded the Shaolin Temple, and became Shaolin Masters, each with their own respective set of skills. While I don't think this film is as powerful as the first, it makes up for it with spectacle. Dare I say it, this two-hour film is more entertaining than the last hour 45-minute film that I reviewed, Five Shallow Masters. A lot of things happen in this movie. Some are more important than others, but certain characters show up and live, only to not really be introduced in the first film, which is the sequel to this one. It's a continuation of this story. Stop it. My head. It does lead into the first film decently enough, only I feel there were way too many characters that were wasted and others that were not introduced that would have helped connect the two films together better. For the characters, this is a prequel, so there are a lot of familiar faces. Fain Shehyu, played by Alexander Fu Shane, is back, but has a different name. I don't think they changed their names to hide from the Manchu in the first film, but I might be mistaken. I, I doubt it, though. Anyway, he's a lovable goofball who still takes training seriously. When he succeeds, he's a bit of a show-off, but in a charming way. He said he's the Tiger Claw. Wow. Don't be lazy. Hu Huey Gan, played by Chi Kyuan Shun, is back to learn the animalistic techniques he had mastered in the last film. He and Fane still have the competitive relationship, but it isn't as powerful or even in the forefront as it was in the last movie. Also, he doesn't seem to have as much screen time as he did in the last movie. Hugh D. Dai, played by David Chiang, also appears to have less screen time and wished he was in it more. I like him as an actor. He's got one of those faces, you know. <laughs> Kai De Zhiang, played by T. Lung, is here again learning the stick of death technique. <laughs> the treacherous Ma Fu Yi, played by Lui Wei Wang, has the same name as in the original film. So I'm led to believe the good guys changed their names because this guy's a bad guy, so he didn't have to. Ma Fu Yi turns to the dark side rather quickly and easily. It's always nice to see the rivalry between the two, um, he and Fang, because they're taunting each other big time. Although I would not have had Fang win a fight against him because he's not supposed to. He's supposed to be the underdog until the next movie, which is the next story, and then he can prove himself. Now he's proven himself here and in the next movie. To the same guy. Shaolin Master Hu Zion, played by Mao Shan, who was actually killed in real life, stabbed, is one imposing dude. He is a teacher who seems to be conflicted with his master's decisions. This leads to other decisions that he presents. The last one I want to mention is the Shaolin Monk Man Yui. Played by Shang Xiang. He is a comedic relief in the film. He is smart, but has that humorous edge to him that makes him stand out even more. There are so many more 
comedic elements in this film than in the previous film. It's a bit distracting given the serious training, but I still get a chuckle here and there. The film does look nice. It's shot well, the cinematography is great, the color scheme work wonders. There are goofy choices, however. The guy who jumps up and down, um, it's accompanied by a goofy sting. But every time he hops and leaps over stuff, it just makes this weird, whimsical, trippy sound. Psychedelic, man. It's like psychedelic surfer music. <laughs> Also, another character who learns to walk on sharp rocks is as cool as the fight he has with the general on said rocks. It does lead to wasted potential, though. Impale the bastard. Through the body, not just in the back. There really was no need for his character in the end, though. I actually thought he was somebody else until, you know, something happens. A lot of this feels like it has solid setups with great payoff, but then it becomes useless to the first film in the end. I really enjoyed it, just had some issues with it. The gore, the effects. This movie is mostly about training and fighting. There is blood, but the last half hour is the big battle, though. We get sad beans, bloody fist fights and some dry bow and arrow action. The climax is not as gnarly as the previous film, but its scope is grander. The motion picture soundtrack, like I said, there are some silly stings that really don't do the film any favors. It's trained to be more humorous, and I get it. It needs to lighten the tone to keep the viewer interested. Young Yu Sheng does a serviceable job with the music. It's fitting. The opening credits theme is great, and it goes in sync with the characters who are training in unison. Overall, I didn't expect much. Heck, I started the film how I finished it. I wish I watched this first, and then the first film. That being said, it is a highly entertaining romp, and I was glued to the screen despite my gripes. Overall, I give... Shaolin Temple, a 2.5 out of 5. If you have not watched either one of these movies, start with this one. Thank you all for watching. You've been watching Shark House Entertainment. I am Brian Gatto. Let me know if you feel the same way about these movies, if you have seen them. Should they be viewed out of order? Uh, check out my Patreon and Facebook pages. Both links are in the description below. Also, hit that notification bell to so be notified every time I make a new video. And as always, subscribe. Bah!